hi and welcome back to Lit Chat, the part where of my channel where I talk about the books that I've read and I give you my thoughts on them. So today we're talking about We Need to Talk About Kevin and We Need to Talk About This Book. It's by Lionel Shriver and it was very, very interesting. Now I would be careful who I recommend this book to. It's definitely for a more mature audience. Um, there are some parts that are a little bit graphic and heartbreaking, but if you kind of know what this is about, then it's to be expected. It has to do with a school shooting, and it's actually the mother of the shooter that is talking about raising her child, and she does so in the form of letters to her estranged husband, and it's very interesting. I had never read anything like this. I'd never read anything on this subject. I did kind of think of it as an essay. It's very real and it hits very close to home because I related very much to the character at the beginning, how she's describing her life for the child, how she loves to travel, how she loves to write that hits very close to home with me. And I was taking care of a bunch of kids at the time, so it's very strange to see all these behaviors in the book and then have to deal with kids 24 hours a day after reading about this strange raising of a child. Um, it's definitely thought-provoking. And like I said, because there are some scenes that are a little bit more gory or graphic, it's not all violence and blood and guts either, but I would not give it, for example, to a 14-year-old, but a 17 and above, even 16, I think they're mature enough to read about this and to read it from the mother's point of view. It makes for a very interesting telling of everything that happens. Obviously, with the theme that we're talking about, it doesn't end up with butterflies and rainbows and everything's fine, but I'm not going to spoil it. Um, it's a big hunk of book, and I kind of went through periods. There were days when I would just read, 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 read through it, and other days where I was kind of dreading what's going to be the next scene, because you do know what it's going to add up to and it's very real, like I said. So it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely worth the read. I saw the movie afterwards. That was the reason for reading the book. And the movie had promised to be this big indie hit. And fine, the cinematography is very indie. The acting is amazing. The cast is just wonderful. Um, but there are so many details in the book that make it that much more real and that much more intense. The movie seemed to go by really fast and obviously the book is always better. But I felt that there were things that it could have included, things that it wasted some time on that weren't as important. And yeah, I would recommend this book to a reader who thinks they can handle it, um, especially if you're interested in psychology and education, that sort of thing, it's, it's worth the read. So I will see you in the next video. I'm very close to finishing The Color of Magic. That will be my next book. That one's by Terry Pratchett, and I'm looking forward to reading something by him. And I will see you then. Okay, my Goodreads is going to be linked below, as will a blog post, well, my blog, I haven't written the post about this yet, and, you know, all my social links, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, everything is just nice in the city, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Shut up, Meg.